Hey guys, welcome to Crack Suite. Finally, the first China closed beta ROM for Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 is available, and it's the best MIUI 12 ROM for Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 based on Android 10 till now. So, in this video, I'm going to give you the full review of this ROM, and I will also show you how can you install this ROM on your Redmi Note 8. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Here you can see this is Redmi Note 8 and we have installed the latest MIUI 12 20.6.17 beta ROM in this Redmi Note 8 and this is based on Android 10 and it has the Android security pass level of 2020 5.1. So the first beta testing of MIUI 12 for Redmi Note 8 is rolling out. So it's the first nightly update for Redmi Note 8 and it is the one of the best update for Redmi Note 8 where there is almost zero lags and expect some minor bugs. So first of all look at this control center. The control center is really smooth. There is no lag in this control center. When you swipe down from your right you will see the control center and when you swipe down from your left you will see the notifications. It's the China build room so you may see some Chinese application but you can remove them also. First of all let us check either super wallpaper is available or not. So you can see here sadly there is no any super wallpaper available cause super wallpaper will be available only for the AMOLED screen phone. But there are some new wallpapers and dynamic wallpapers also. And the best thing that I like in this room is finally there is app drawer available in this room. I've been waiting for this for a very long time and finally I got the app drawer in my phone. So you have to simply go to your home screen and inside the home screen setting you will see the app drawer setting. So simply enable it and enjoy the app drawer on your Redmi Note 8. So I will click on this OK button and you can see here I will go to the home screen and I will simply swipe up. And you will see the app drawer. You can see the list of all the application in your phone. So finally the app drawer is available in this Redmi Note 8 in this MIUI 12 Pro. And when you swipe down on the home screen you will see the control center. You can also do little bit of customization in the app drawer setting. You can see there is background option. So inside the background option you can adjust the transparency. You can adjust the transparency. You can also select the dark theme and system as well. So you can increase and decrease this transparency and click on apply button. There is the latest security application available in this room. You can see this is the latest security app of MIUI 12. There is battery and performance option available and inside there you can enable the battery saver and there is also latest ultra battery saver option available and you can see this is the battery usage stats of this room and the battery backup is pretty good. There is latest MIUI 12 camera available in this room and everything is working perfectly fine. You can take portrait shot, you can take ultra wide shot, you can take night shot and you can also take 48 megapixel shot. So camera is working perfectly fine in this room. And there is camera modes available in this setting. From here you can select how you like to arrange all the camera modes and I'm going to enable this one. And you can also adjust colors and sounds. Also there is latest MIUI 12 gallery available in this room loaded with all the new features including trash bin in this room. And also there is a sky filter available. You can see here this is a picture of a girl with a sky and I'm going to use some sky filters here. From the edit section you can apply sky filters. There are statics and dynamic filters available and I'm applying one by one. You can also use sky filters on your photo. Simply you have to take a picture with the sky and apply statics or dynamic sky filters on your photo. And now let's see what features available in this settings section. First of all, Bluetooth media is working perfectly fine. There used to be problem in Bluetooth media in previous build ported rooms but now it's working perfectly fine. And inside the lock screen there is new lock screen clock format and these are some old lock screen clock format and this one is the latest layout for lock screen and I'm gonna apply this. And this looks something like this in the lock screen mode and which is pretty nice. And inside the display setting you can see there is brightness level available, there is reading mode available, there is color sim available and you can apply any one but I'm gonna use this recommended one. And there is also dark mode available and this is the latest dark mode available here. And you can also apply dark mode for third party application as well. It works pretty well but for some application it doesn't. Like when using Facebook application and Facebook light application I'm facing some disturbance in color by applying dark mode for them. But you can also deselect them from here. And inside the system font there are lots of Chinese fonts available cause this is the China build room so obviously there are Chinese font available. Uh, you can also edit text size and font weight from here. And below there, there is control center and notification set option available and from here you can disable the control center and you will get the old MIUI notification panel. But I'm going to use this control center because it's pretty smooth but if you want to use the old MIUI notification panel then you can disable the control center from here. Below there, there is show on lock screen option available and also there is show connection speed available and I'm going to enable this. And there is battery indicator and I'm going to enable this one. And also there is hide noise option available which works pretty well. And inside the notification settings there is similar features as used to be in MIUI 11. 
Now let's move to home screen and first of all you will see default launcher which is system launcher and inside the home screen you can enable app drawer as I've already told you about this. And there are some other features like app fault and also there is icon size and from here you can increase or decrease the icon size. There is also global icon animation option available and if that option is enabled then every app will show animations like while opening the application. And there is show memory stats option available and when you enable that option and when you go to the recent app section and on the top right corner you will see the memory stats of your phone. And this is quite normal feature which is also available in MIUI 11. But the interesting feature is that when you go to the recent app section and on the top left corner you will see the floating windows and you can enable the floating windows directly from there. And I've selected the floating windows of Calgary application and this is how it looks like and you can access it to anywhere over any application. And if you want to minimize the floating window just tap from the top and drag it to the top right or the top left corner and if you want to close it then you have to tap from the bottom and drag to the upwards direction then the floating window will remove from your phone you can also enable the floating window directly from the control center now let's go to the theme section and inside the theme you will see everything written in chinese and get lots of chinese theme and inside the my account section on theme lab you will see transparent wallpaper wallpaper slide slow and profile videos and inside the theme components there is lock style status bar icons, messaging, dial pad, favorite tray, boot animation and boot audio. And now let's go to the password and security option and inside there you will get all the security like pattern, fingerprint and face unlock and you can also add two face datas in there. And there is battery and performance that I've already told you there is battery saver, ultra battery saver and other things. And inside the app setting you can see there is system app settings, manage app, dual apps, permissions and app lock settings. And inside the additional setting you can see there is full screen display option available and inside the full screen display you can see there is buttons and full screen gesture option available but in this MIUI 12 there is another one thing and that is hide full screen indicator option if you enable it then the little line you see at the bottom while using the full screen display will disappear. But I like that feature cause it makes easy to go to the previous app easily by just swiping it to the left or to the right. So this is the interesting feature so I'm gonna always enable it. And there are some other features that used to be in MIUI 11 so I didn't explain about them. So now let's see how to install this ROM on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. So for this your phone's bootloader must be unlocked and you must have installed custom recovery on your phone. And in case if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader of your phone and how to install custom recovery on your phone then I have made a separate video about it. You can check the video will be in the description below so that you can easily unlock the bootloader of your phone and easily install custom recovery on your phone. So I already have unlocked the bootloader of my phone and I already have custom recovery installed on my phone so you just need to download this rom file and then just go to your custom recovery so simply go to your my device and your miui version and click on that three dots and go to the custom recovery reboot your phone to the custom recovery mode from here so this is orange fox custom recovery first of all it will ask you to decrypt the data partition so simply draw your mobile phone's lock screen password here and it will decrypt your data partition it will take some little bit of time so we have to wait here and now it's done so first of all click on that wipe section so simply click on that wipe and from here select Delphic, Cas, system fender and data and then swipe to the right and this will take some little bit of time and now it's done and then go back and then select the rom file that you have downloaded and click on it and then swipe and now it's installing and this will take some little bit of time again so i will fast forward this process so the installing process has been completed so now click on that wipe catch and then swipe and now click on reboot system and then your phone will reboot to the system and then simply you have to do some simple basic boot setup then you are done and you will have miui 12 on your phone so that's it all about the latest miui 12 on xiaomi redmi note 8 so i hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button comment below if you have any kinds of queries suggestions or any kinds of problem share this video as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe to our crack Sweet youtube channel and hit that notification bell as well so thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video until then goodbye